Hello and uh, welcome to this part of programming tutorial in which we will deal with the uh, regular expressions of scanf as I had told in my last tutorial. So um, this is all copy from the previous one. Sorry about that. Okay. So as uh, we know that uh, scanf cannot take space as in its input, right? That's a big problem. So how do we fix that? So here is the fix. This is a regular expression which tells that you read till you hit backslash new line, which is your enter key. So let us simply compile and run this. So it is waiting for our input which I give. I gave my name. So okay. So it worked, right? So that's how we print this. Okay. Now we need this get care to eat up that backslash n which comes in stream last. Now suppose if we want to take only numbers and white spaces. So how our regular expression would look like it will be 0 to 9 and then space and then see how it works so you need to compile again and then you need to run again i'll give you numbers and then space and numbers so it prints that also okay so the first one was for the first one and second one actually printed the same str so i didn't run it well actually so this is the first scanf and then the second scanf and now if we type some characters see what is the output it rejects the moment the regular expression fails rest of the input will be rejected so you see carefully our regular regular expressions include 0 to 9 and then space so suppose if we want to read only hex numbers so our regular expression would look something like this so now this will read only hex numbers so for example the first one remains same now we input something like this it will take but if you want to input some random string it won't take what it will do it will print the previous str it is not taking the new input in the str okay so so far so good we revert it to original and then we have another get c char actually we don't need to do this we can read this here so then you won't need to do this care now many uh, in many countries you have got numbers which contain commas so that's how we will read 0 to 9 and then comma easy right okay so this goes for first scan of and then this goes for second oops think we missed this Code. So this is for first, this is for second. Okay, it is not trading for the third one for some apparent reason. Uh, okay, so this scanf is actually okay. Let's put the get care. Okay, that's missing. Okay. Funny. So this is for second, so it will read on the second part. Okay, so backslash n is still not being filtered as I see. That is why it is not uh, taking that. Okay, now another problem is that this remains in stream. So you see what happens here is this is our input for first and then we have this for second 
Now it will read this much for a second. O will be rejected because O is not part of that regex. And O is not also part of the third. So it will read this much for the third and then 93 is being printed for the third. So you see what's going on, right? Okay, make sure you understand this. Now I'll give it proper input and then we'll get proper output. And then we have our number with commas. I know there are thousands and then you give comma, but that's how it works. Now suppose you want to read a textual paragraph, then you have got only alphabets, possibly digits also, and then you got comma, period, semicolon, exclamation mark, question mark. That very much covers everything in a paragraph. So that's how we read that now make sure you give proper input otherwise whatever will remain in the buffer will be fed back to next scanf so be very very careful regarding this or the other way is to flush it that we'll see later how do you flush your stream okay so three are gone so now we can input a paragraph in this so we can write something like this and then we can have uh, uh, numbers also. So you see how you can use regular expressions of scanf to do various things and various restrictions on your input. Uh, that will be all for now from scanf. There are more ways, but we'll see those later when appropriate time comes, uh, but possibly in when we deal with advanced techniques of C programming. Till then, enjoy.